Hello everyone, uh, on this video I'd like to show you guys how to replace the corrugated HEPA filter uh, on your air tube. Now before I go through that, uh, people usually ask us how long does a HEPA filter last? Now uh, normally it's very difficult to say it because it depends on the usage, it depends on if it's opened or not. So uh, when, the, when we give you a, a HEPA filter, it's, it usually comes in a sealed uh, plastic uh, container. So when it's sealed, you can store it up to one year. Uh, if you open that sealed uh, uh, plastic container, then uh, the storage life of this one is uh, around six months. Now, whether you use it or not, uh, up to six months. Now, one black and white way to show how long the, the, the filters last, or if the filter is still usable, is to use the airflow tester. So, uh, airflow tester is very easy to use. You just turn it on. And as long as the ball always exceeds the, uh, the black line, then you're always above 250 liters, which means that you can uh, mechanically still keep using your HEPA filter. Uh, of course, uh, again, there's a lot of subjectivity on uh, if you want to replace it or not. Uh, and uh, again, what we tell you right now is uh, as long as it, uh, it's open from the plastic container, the, uh, its storage life is whether you use it or not is up to six months. Now, uh, let's assume that you need to replace the HEPA filter already. So all you need is only a screwdriver, a, a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and uh, there are, there's going to be uh, four screws that you have to remove at the back of your air tube, uh, and you basically just unscrew them, right? So I just have a air tube that's already open. So assuming we've already unscrewed uh, the uh, screws at the back, you basically just open the the, the filter cover, and you remove. For example, a, a dirty or a damaged uh, uh, he uh, HEPA filter. Now, just FYI, when you look at your HEPA filter, if you see something like this, that there's scratches or damages to it, then you really have to replace it. It means that air can actually flow in. So it has to be uh, clean and it has to be uh, undamaged. If it's damaged, automatically you have to replace. So the first thing you have to do is just make sure there's a... There is a rubber gasket here. No? You just have to make sure that the rubber gasket is facing towards your uh, uh, air tube. No? It, has to be face it has to face here because the rubber gasket serves as a sealing mechanism for the, pump, uh, for the, uh, the blower uh, pump. No? So when you connect it, so you see the, the lines on the, uh, the HEPA filter, it has to be horizontal. It's horizontal to this one, so you just connect it this way. Right? And just make sure before you connect the filter cover on the, uh, the actual uh, air tube that the, the louvers is facing down. And the reason for that is because when you do a uh, disinfection process in the hospital, there's going to be spray. Uh, the, the spray should not uh, enter inside the, uh, the HEPA filter. That's, that's why it's always supposed to be facing down. Okay. When you connect it, just connect it here. And then once you connect it, just screw back on. It's as simple as that. You just have to make sure that you're finished with all the screws and make sure it's tight. So when you screw it, it's supposed to completely seal itself. You know? the, uh, uh, the air tube with the filter cover. So, uh, so that's it. So it's as simple as that. You just have to make sure that you screw all four screws inside and screw it tightly. And that's, that's how easy it is to replace the HEPA filter on the air tube. Thank you.